Imagine you're at a point in your life where you're in so much distress. Things are not working out the way they should. Your family is tearing apart, your health is failing, in your career you're not making heads, and financially, you're down. In the midst of all of these, the only help or advice your best friend could offer you is to rest. How can you rest? Why should you rest? What should you rest on? These are the questions that'll be on your mind, right? How can a friend advise you to rest despite the troubling situation you're in? Will resting take away the problems or bring solutions to them? This scenario sounds unreasonable and illogical. In the same way, giving God your battle sounds unreasonable. However, the truth remains that you can't experience true victory in life without giving God your battle. If you continue fighting with your strength, you will lose time and time again. Give God your battle and watch how he'll fight for you. Giving God your battles is like sleeping while there's a storm. When you give God your battle, you'll rest while he fights for you. Life is packed with challenges and adversities, and we often find ourselves grappling with overwhelming circumstances that seem insurmountable. During such moments of distress, we may feel helpless and lost, seeking a source of strength greater than ourselves. Giving God your battle involves surrendering your worries, fears, and struggles to God, believing that God will fight on your behalf. This act of surrender is rooted in faith, trust, and humility, and can be a transformative experience offering comfort, hope, and resilience in the face of adversity. The challenges in your life seem like battles. God doesn't want you to fight for yourself. He wants you to give it to Him so He can fight for you. These things you've been trying to fight in your strength and figure out in your flesh, God says, I want my battle back. You don't have to fight it. Just stand firm and take your position. In other words, you don't have to fight it. Hand the battle over to God. God says, I will fight it. There's no better news in the world than knowing that the God of heaven and earth is fighting your battles at this very moment. There's a very interesting Bible story found in 2 Chronicles 20 that teaches us to always give our battle to God. In the kingdom of Judah, there was a wise and righteous king named Josephat, he was beloved by his people for his faithfulness to God and his dedication to leading them with wisdom and kindness. One fateful day, news reached King Josephat that a formidable alliance of enemy nations was marching his kingdom. The Moabites, Ammonites, and Meonites had joined forces, and their combined army seemed invincible. The people of Judah were filled with fear unsure of how they would stand against such overwhelming odds. But King Josephat knew where to turn in times of trouble. He immediately called for a fast and gathered all the people at the temple in Jerusalem. There, in the presence of God, Josephat poured out his heart in prayer. With humility, he acknowledged their helplessness and their complete dependence on the Almighty. O Lord of our ancestors, he prayed, you are the ruler of all the kingdoms of the earth. We have no power against this great multitude that's coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are on you. As the people joined their king in earnest supplication, a divine revelation came forth. Through the Spirit, a Levite named Jaziel spoke with a voice filled with assurance and comfort. Do not be afraid or discouraged, he declared, for the battle is not yours, but God's. You will not need to fight in this battle. Stand firm and see the salvation of the Lord. Hearing this message, hope filled the hearts of the people. They knew that they didn't have to face this daunting battle alone. Their trust in God grew stronger, and they placed their burdens squarely in his hands. As the sun rose on the day of the battle, King Josephat led his people towards their formidable adversaries. But instead of brandishing weapons, they carried something unexpected. Singers and musicians leading the way, praising God with joyful melodies. 
Give thanks to the Lord, for His steadfast love endures forever. They sang with fervor, declaring God's greatness and power. As the songs of praise echoed through the valley, an astonishing sight unfolded before their eyes. God's divine intervention became evident as confusion swept through the enemy ranks. The Moabites, Ammonites, and Mayanites turned against each other, causing utter chaos within their army. Without a single sword being raised in battle, the enemies destroyed one another, and the victory was won. Josephat and his people stood in awe of God's mighty hand. They'd witnessed the power of surrendering their battle to God, putting their trust in His providence, and praising Him amidst adversity. Returning to Jerusalem, the triumphant king and his people gathered once more at the temple. Overflowing with gratitude, they thanked God for His faithfulness and the miraculous victory that He'd granted them. Just like the King Josephat, each of us faces battles in life, challenges that seem insurmountable, and fears that threaten to overwhelm us. But take heart, for the story of Josephat teaches us that when we give our battles to God, He fights for us. Surrender your worries, your fears, and your anxieties. Lay them at His feet and let His wisdom guide you. This story of King Josephat serves as a timeless reminder that when we face battles and challenges in our own lives, we too can find strength and encouragement by giving our burdens to God. In surrendering to His will, you discover that you're not alone in your struggles, for the Almighty fights on your behalf. When in distress, remember the lesson of Josephat's victory, and in the times of fear and uncertainty, Turn to God in earnest prayer, praise His name with heartfelt melodies, and trust in His unfailing love. For the battle is the Lord's, and when you give your battles to Him, you can rest assured that He will fight for you and grant you the victory you seek. Have faith in God's power, and know that when you give your battle to Him, miracles can unfold and victories can be won. Trust in His plan, stand firm, and let Him fight for you. With God on your side, there's nothing you cannot overcome. Remind yourself that the battle is the Lord's. It's not just your battle. It's not just up to you and your ability. In all of life's battles, it's the Lord's battle. Whatever form of battle yours is, it may be health-related, financial, or related to relationships. Whatever your battle is, the good news is God knows it, and He's ready to help you. God is the one who will fight that battle for you and give you victory. Your victory is not dependent upon you, it's dependent on God. The battle is not yours, the battle is God's. You don't have to fight this battle. When you're in battle, you need God, not your strength. You will find freedom and joy in knowing that God is in control. As you come into the family of God, He fights for you, not against you. Give up trying to win with your power. Surrender yourself and your situation completely to God. Trust Him, and He will be your help and shield. When you're at your lowest, God does His best work. So, face your battles and trust that God is fighting for you. Remember, you don't have to fight this battle. Surrender it to God and find strength in His presence. As a child of God, you must never forget that nothing is beyond God's care and control for His children. He has promised to take care of you, plan good things for you, and love you unconditionally. You should never forget the battles God has fought for you in the past and the victories He's already granted. Sometimes, we perceive our problems as giants that are too formidable to conquer. Yet, allowing these obstacles to diminish our faith leads to defeat. You must place your trust in God who is in control of every situation, regardless of its size. While God is in control, it doesn't mean that you'll be exempt from battles or suffering. 
The Bible tells us that we will face trials. However, these challenges produce endurance, character, and hope. As a believer, you must put on the armor of God and trust our Deliverer. Your confidence shouldn't lie in your strength or worldly things, but in God, who will fight your battles and bring you safely through every trial. You'll be amazed to see how much God is willing to do to give you victory over that battle. In conclusion, if you want to experience true victory over these battles in your life, you must hand over that battle to God. He will fight for you and you won't need to lift a finger in your own defense. God's word to you today is, Give me your battle. I will fight for you and you will hold your peace and remain at rest.